Hi, my name's Toby Chapman. I've worked with Tom Jones, Spandau Ballet, Il Devo, Carly Wano, to name but a few. And I'm here to talk about the RD800 and the JDXA. So this is the RD800. Let's say piano is definitely my first love. So this was a great choice for me. I already have uh, an RD700 NX, which is a fantastic piano too. But I think they've really simplified a few things on here now, which I think has made it a much simpler keyboard to work with. I think the first thing I noticed, which I didn't think would make a massive amount of difference, is the ivory fill. You maybe think something like that, that's not really going to make an awful lot of difference from the plastic keys, but it, it really does make a difference. All I can say is it just makes you want to play. One of the things I really like uh, with this is the fact that you can change the tone of single notes within a piano. So if you, if you want to have a specific set of notes that have a certain tone, you can actually get down to that level and degree of um, editing, which I think is fantastic. And also looking at um, the electric pianos, if we go to some of the vintage ones, this is a classic case, like on old Rhodes, you've actually got a feature here called tone color. Now with tone color, it actually goes through the years. So it will start with the late 60s, early 70s Rhodes. I don't know whether you can hear the, 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 uh, the change here, but it's actually morphing into a, a later style of Rhodes. And then at that point, we're into the 80s with Dyna Rhodes, and that's got a much more, what I call a barking sound. And then if you go back here, you've got a more mellow, So I think you'll agree there's a lot of scope there for editing your sounds. I suppose one of the things I like about this is the simplicity of using uh, live sets. I did a tour last year with Spano Ballet where we did all, uh, you know, predominantly all the old songs. And with a lot of those 80s things, they're very kind of simple sounds. A lot of it was the latest, uh, the latest Spando stuff was um, piano based. Um, but one of the classic things that we would always need is a pad behind a piano because it just warms it up. Um, so if you had like a straight piano sound like this, just instantly being able to put this in. It's the fact that you can just do things on the fly which are quite like but you can also get into a, a sort of a, a deeper level of adjustment if you need to. Um, yeah, it's perfect, especially for that kind of music as well. It really works for me. I think one of the, the main points with this that I loved was when I got it out of the box, I you know, obviously spent a good half an hour roaming around the sounds, but the fact within two hours I had the whole thing down because once you edit any of these tones, they go straight into a live set. It's so simple. If I can do it, you can do it. 